Hey guys, Dr. Brian Prax here, uh, Chronic Care Charlottesville. I focus on peripheral neuropathy. And you know, there's over a hundred known causes of neuropathy out there. That neuropathy, burning, tingling, numbness, weird sensation, weaknesses, coordination, balance issues. Uh, that neuropathy has over a hundred known causes. And I just want to talk about one of those today. And that is actually from a drug called a proton pump inhibitor, also known as PPIs. You may be thinking, I don't take any of those. Well, how about these? Do these ring a bell? Prilosec, Nexium, Prevacid, Asipahex, and Protonix. I definitely see the, the uh, four of those in there for sure very, very frequently in a lot of my neuropathy um, patients. And so we want to talk about these proton pump inhibitors. Essentially, the proton hip, uh, pump inhibitors are the most commonly prescribed class of medication for the treatment of heartburn and acid-related disorders. And how many of us have GERD, GERD, uh, acid reflux, and things like that? Basically what they do is they block the site of acid production inside the stomach. And you're thinking, no big deal. Too much acid gives me heartburn. I really don't want to deal with that. Tums isn't working, so let me do something stronger. And some of these things are literally over the counter and they think, that's eh, no big deal. Or is it? So let's flip the page and look at this study um, that I found uh, out of the National Library of Medicine. Okay, and I'll copy that link for you and we'll put that in this uh, video as well. Long-term use of proton pump inhibitors as a risk factor for various adverse manifestations. With neuropathy, you can read through it and see the other things, but with neuropathy, watch this. It says here, that the long-term use of PPIs can lead to increased gastric pH, meaning your, your uh, acidity will actually go up. What? But I thought it was supposed to make my acidity go down. Well, if you're forcing the body to do this, the body's outsmarting it, and what it's doing is sending a hormone called gastrin in there, which is saying, give me some more acid. Why would we want acid? Because it breaks your food down. It's good to digest your food, okay? So you're telling it to stop by giving it a drug. It keeps saying, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more. Eventually, you're going to actually end up with a higher level of acidity, okay? So it can lead to a higher pH. It can lead to hypochlorhydria, which means too low acid, which I know you're thinking, that's what I want. But then that leads to things like indigestion and digestive problems and absorption problems. So I'd be really, really careful with these things. Uh, achlorhydria or hydria is meaning you're literally you have no acid in there at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, so this I highlighted. So these consequences by the use of long-term PPIs may lead to significant vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Not good. First one on the list, B12. B12 deficiency has a number of reasons why you might be deficient in B12. Alcoholism is one but so is Prilosec. It can lead to a B12 deficiency. Why would we care? Because B12 deficiency can lead to death of nerves, and we call that peripheral neuropathy. First thing I want you to do if you're taking Prilosec or any of these PPIs is I want you to find a strategy to get better digestion. We have strategies here. Search the internet. There are better ways, and guess what? The first one I would recommend is take a look at your diet. Get on an anti-inflammatory diet. I talk about that a lot. Um, also, uh, vitamin C deficiency. Gee, you know how important that is for the immune system and other things. But let's look what else. Mineral deficiencies. How about iron? How many of you have ever heard of iron deficiency? Anemia. That's horrible. Okay. What about calcium and magnesium? Does that ring a bell? If you don't have enough calcium, you don't have enough magnesium, we're talking bone brittling. This could lead to things like osteopenia and osteoporosis, all from, oh, I have a little bit of heartburn. Now, I'm not making fun of that. I've had heartburn myself, but when there are natural approaches like dietary changes uh, and natural things that you can do uh, to help with your acid levels, then you really want to consider or reconsider taking these over the counter. They must be safe medications. Go ahead and read the article. I'd love to hear your comments on that. But um, those proton pump inhibitors like Prilosec and some of the others, 
not as safe as you think. And just because something's over the counter does not mean it's it's uh, as as safe as you would think. So I hope this helps. I hope this shakes you up a little bit, maybe riles you. I look forward to seeing your comments below. Do you take Prilosec? Do you take some of these other proton pump inhibitors, uh, Nexium, Prevacid, Protonix, do you take those? And how are your feet feeling? How are your hands feeling? Do you have a vitamin B12 deficiency, a C of magnesium? Do you have osteopenia? Hmm, something to think about. I look forward to hearing your comments and we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, I would ask you to hit the thumbs up button to like it. You can share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, and please comment below. I will read it and I will respond. Thank you and have a nice day.